San Antonio ISD is off the hook with the Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. The school faced a lawsuit for mandating the COVID-19 vaccine earlier this month. The first district in the state to make such a move. It made national headlines. SAISD's mandate went against state law, but now that the FDA has fully approved the Pfizer vaccine, the Attorney General... We return now to KSAT Digital Journalist Ferris Sabawi. Good morning, Ferris. Hey, good morning. How are y'all? We're doing very well, thank you. First, can you break down the back and forth in this latest legal battle between the AG and SAISD? Yeah, Mark. So as you mentioned, uh, earlier this month in August, SAISD became the first school district in Texas to mandate a COVID-19 vaccination. Now, that would go against the governor's order, which prohibited emergency use vaccines. Um, it prohibited the mandate of uh, emergency use vaccines. So uh, Attorney General Ken Paxton decided to file a lawsuit last week. Um, in response, Superintendent Pedro Martinez issued a clarification saying that, you know, uh, he will not mandate the vaccines until it does receive full FDA authorization. And I guess that was great timing. It happened to come on Monday, basically squashing the lawsuit and allowing SAISD's vaccine mandate to move forward. And now that it's moving forward, Ferris, when will SAISD's mandate take effect? Yeah, Stephanie, so they were looking at a deadline of October 15th to get the staff vaccinated. I understand that roughly 90% of the staff and teachers are already vaccinated, so there's not too many people left holding out. Um, in order to meet that October 15th deadline to be fully vaccinated, they would likely have to get their first shot if they take those two-dose series um, sometime in September 15th. So that date is coming up shortly approaching. It'll be interesting to see if they're able to get everybody on board or if there's going to be any other conflicts that arise from this. Which brings us to the inevitable question, Ferris. Can we expect more vaccine mandates from schools going forward? Mark, I think that's safe to assume. It's really hard to, uh, you know, understate the signal if they take those two dose series. Um, sometime in September 15th. So that date is coming up shortly approaching. It'll be interesting to see if they're able to get everybody on board or if there's going to be any other conflicts that arise from this. Which brings us to the inevitable question, Ferris. Can we expect more vaccine mandates from schools going forward? Mark, I think that's safe to assume. It's really hard to, uh, you know, understate the significance of the FDA authorization. That FDA... Hi, Ferris Sabawi, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you all.